kept looking at me like what are you gonna sing next I kept looking at her like I don't know uh, I'm a firm believer in waiting on the Lord to tell me what to do uh, you who you who know me know that well I don't have too good a sense know him and, and if you don't believe that ask my wife she'll tell you but I like to obey God, though. I like to obey the Spirit of the Lord, and, and, and I do have sense enough to wait on Him. And He'll tell me what to sing and when to sing it. But I want to tell you folks something. We, we've been looking forward to coming back here ever since last, last year when we was here. And uh, we love you guys. Um, there's a song that, my wife asked me back last year to sing, and I told her, I said, Honey, I said, I really I really don't know all the words to that song. And then I got to studying about it, and it kind of made me ashamed of myself that I didn't know all the words because this song is so old. I don't know how many years old it is. But <laughs> uh, it, it might, you might not believe this, but it's older than I am. Um, I got to sitting in a meeting that day, you know, and I got to studying about the song. And it made me ashamed of myself that I didn't know the song. And I asked my wife, I said, I'll tell you what. I said, I thought I was going to put her on the spot since she asked me to sing. And I said, if you'll play it for me and feed me the words, I said, I'll do what I can to do it. She said, okay. 
So I sit there and I said, Lord, I need your help on this one. And you know, I got up to sing this song that day and, and, and the Lord gave me every word. And I've been doing this song ever since. I hope it's a blessing to y'all. But I do this song for my father. Amen. 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 Here's a song that we put on the latest recording called Altar Life. And I thank God I'm living that altar life. Amen. Amen. His mansion was 
from the pages of a Bible someone threw away. John's in his high-rise penthouse suite with a gun on his desk. The liquor and pain, too much cocaine. He places it to his chest. And he prays to God this one more prayer. Oh, help me if you will. And John could be another soul. Satan could not. Salvation starts with a willing heart. Conviction cuts like a knife. Bow down in the presence of God, leaving the altar blind. When I'm bound by all my burdens and I need. Salvation starts with a willing heart. Conviction cuts like a knife. Bow down in the presence of God, leaving the altar night. Bow down in the presence of God, leaving. Amen. Prison 
all around your heart Just lock the door and throw away the key If you feel there's no escaping I can tell you where to start Just take it to the cross at Calvary There my Jesus bled and died Oh, but that's not how it ends He would not be defeated In three days he rose again and he's sitting at the Father's right hand just call the master builder, he's got a reconstruction plan, they're all through. On each door, tear down the wall, clear the floor. Don't let anything stand between Jesus and you. If you want to see the Holy Ghost move, tear all through. On each the door, tear down the wall. I get excited sometimes, y'all. Uh, you know something? Me and my wife, we're, uh, we're, we're, how do I say it? We're people, people. We love, we love people. All shapes, sizes, colors, we, we love people, you know? And y'all know something that, that's a blessing to me? Y'all are a blessing to me. Look, think about this. In the world out there that we live in, there's white people that can't stand you because your skin's black. I'm serious. That's just the way it is. There's black folks that don't like me because my skin's white. There's folks that don't like my wife because she's half Indian. And sometimes she can't stand me at all. <laughs> but you know what? It's a blessing when I come in a place like this. And people of all colors and races, huh? Worshiping God together. That's wonderful to me. That's a blessing to me. Okay? Um we were up in we were up in Erie, Pennsylvania here a while back and and uh, our old ragged man broke down on us, you know, we were sitting up there and, and I knew one individual in that entire town. I mean I knew one individual within 500 miles, I guess, of where we were at. And we were sitting out there on the, cycle, uh, uh, the side of Lake Erie, and we didn't have a cell phone. They wasn't a pay phone within several miles, you know. And, and I had been asking the Lord for favor with man. Okay. Let this sink in and then take it out yonder and spread it, Okay. The first person that walked up to me and asked, offered help was a young black lady. She said, sir, could, could you use a cell phone? Okay. Now, hang on. Go further than that. I used that lady's cell phone. I called the one person that I knew in that area, and he said, well, I don't have no jumper cables, but I got a jump box, but it's in my wife's vehicle, and it's going to take me a while to get there. I didn't have a clue if the thing would jump off or not. Okay? There was an elderly Chinese man. He kept walking back and forth. Back. And my wife kept saying, well, ask that man. He got some jumper cables. But I said, honey, that old man don't have no jumper cables. <laughs> About 30 minutes later, he walked up and he said, sir, do you need jumper cable?" I could have slapped her out the other side of that band. <laughs> but you know something? Like I said, we're people. People. We love people. But there's so many people out there that, that, are, that they, they, they look for an excuse to hate somebody. My Lord spoke to my heart and said, take this wherever you go and tell people just to love one another. Because it... 
if we can't love one another here, how are we going to get to heaven? I didn't come preach to you. I'm not a preacher, but it's just in here. It's just in me sometimes. There's a song that, that, that I love doing. Brother Marty Raver wrote this song and sent it to us. It speaks of the blood of Jesus. And I love singing about the blood of Jesus. But you know something? When we get there, there will be people that left this world of all ages, all sizes, all colors, all races from all parts of our world. But every last one of us will go through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I hope this song's a blessing to you. I love doing this song. I stepped through the pearly gates Where the saints of God all congregate What I see my heart is long to see Every color, creed, and tongue In one accord is just begun Taking part in heaven's jubilee And when the book of life was opened And the angels called our names We all had different stories but one thing was the same Some came through the battle Some came through the storm Some lived to be a ripe old age And some were never born Some came through the fire Some came through the flood No matter how we got here We all came through his blood The lame they walked, the blind could see Death and sickness up here has no place Yeah, we all received a robe and crown But we all went and laid them down At the feet of the one who saved us by his grave At the judgment seat of Christ The angels called our names We all had testimonies But one thing was the same some came through the battle, some came through the storm. Some lived to be a ripe old age, and some were never born. Some came through the fire, some came through the flood. No matter how we got here, we all came through the blood. Some came through the battle, some came through the storm. Some live to be a ripe old age and some were never born. Some came through the fire, some came through the flood. No matter how we got here, we all came through the blood. No matter how we got here, we all came through the blood. His precious blood. good to be in God's house it is good to be in God's house before we go any further I want to say thanks to brother Chuck and his wife for inviting us to come back and thank y'all for putting up with us uh, it is good to be it is good to be back in here with you folks uh, Chuck asked me the other, I think it was last night he said uh, I thought y'all would be here a little earlier and get to the motel and jump in the pool I said well when you <laughs> when you're sitting on the side of the road trying to get a tire on your van and your, and your jack won't jack up high enough to do that I said you don't get here early enough to jump in the pool <laughs> but we got to the motel last night and JoJo asked a lady up front she said 
can I go swimming? She said, the pool's closed. She didn't say nothing about the hot tub. <laughs> so we slipped out the emergency exit and jumped in the hot tub. <laughs> I finally did get a bath my way another. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Folks in the world, hey, they expect Christians to not have a good time. I mean, that's what they think, really. Uh, I have a good time, and I, I can tell y'all do too. And I think God wants us to, to enjoy our salvation. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know how long I'm supposed to sing. 15 minutes? Well, I'm over my limit. I won't sing you to death. Um, there, there's a song. Ma'am? Sing us to life. Sing us to life. Do what? Okay. I didn't know y'all was dead. Y'all sure are lively folks to be dead. I know I'm cutting up with you. Uh, huh? Okay. All right. Listen. Did y'all hear what? Did y'all hear what Joseph said? Tell him. Say it loud. Okay. I'm gonna do this song for JoJo. Okay. Now. There's something behind that more than meets the eye, guys. This song is on that latest recording. And a buddy of mine, uh, Kenny Webb from Chattanooga, Tennessee, wrote this song and sent it to us. And when I read over it, I loved the song, you know. And But the first two churches I ever sung it at, well, the first church, when I sung it, they kind of, give me that number. I thought, uh-oh. The second church I sung it at, there was a little old lady in the very back of the church. And when I got done singing this song, she said, I just don't get it. <laughs> My wife jumped up in the front and said, I don't either. <laughs> I said, well, it might, might have been a mistake recording this song here. But we were up in Alabama a week or two after that, and this dear pastor of mine, I said, look, I said, I want to try this song out on y'all to see if y'all understand this song. I said, if you don't like it, please don't throw songbooks or rotten tomatoes, okay? Just tell me, and I won't sing it anymore. So I sung this song, and they had a fit over it. I mean, they just loved the song to death, and it's JoJo's favorite song. If you don't like it, do me a favor. Don't throw no songbook at me. Wrong side of the track Running 90 miles an hour Never looking back Like a prodigal son Sometimes it still amazes me How he touched my heart Made it new again And my sins are forgiven forever Amen Now he's prepared a place for me That heavenly home is my eternity I won't be smoking in the graveyard Wishing I'd known I'd wait too late to repent Trying to slip at the back door when this world finally comes to an end. Lord, you found me down on my knees and you stopped the insanity. I'm never turning back again. I won't be smoking in the graveyard. I'll meet you in the clouds, Lord, when you call my name. I don't mean to paint your little red wagon blue, but God didn't save me to sit on a pew. The Almighty Word of God is placed in these children's hands. How He touched my heart, made it new again, and my sins are forgiven forever. Amen. Now He's prepared a place for me. That heavenly home is my eternity. I won't be smoking in the graveyard, wishing I'd known I'd wait too late to repent. Trying to slip at the back door when this world finally comes to an end. Lord, you found me down on my knees and you stopped the insanity. You're never turning back again. I won't be smoking in the graveyard. I'll meet you in the clouds, Lord, when you call my name. Lord, I won't be smoking in the graveyard. Wishing I'd known I'd wait too late to repent. Trying to slip at the back door when this world finally comes to an end. Lord, you found me down on my knees and you stopped the insanity. I'm never turning back again. I won't 
be smoking in the graveyard. I miss you in the clouds, Lord, when you call my name. I will be smoking in the graveyard. I miss you in the clouds, Lord, when you call my name. Somebody did get it. Ah. Thank you, baby. You know what? It's actually nice to sing it somewhere where somebody does get it. Okay. All right. I want to do you one now that uh, uh, we released this to national radio back uh, about Two months ago, baby, something like that, maybe three. Um, I love this song. It's simply entitled Sunrise. And I hope it's a blessing to you. I love doing this whole song. If I never hear my wife say I love you, I'll carry all the love for them to heaven, and I'll leave them all my love to see them through. It's hard to say I wouldn't miss them if the Lord should call me home, but I'll be in the presence of the King. I know I'll see them once again around that shining throne Cause I've told my house to love the Lord above everything If I never see another sunrise I know I'm going to see the risen sun If I never see another dark sky I'll know I made it through the storm When my trials are finally over And my race is finally won Don't weep for me Cause if I never see another sunrise I know I'm gonna see the risen sun The gifts that I've been given here on earth will fade away, but the joy that's in my heart will never fade. So every day I count my blessings, and every night I pray, if this should be my final hour, Lord, I praise you for this. Never see another sunrise. I know I'm gonna see the risen sun. If I never see another dark sky, I'll know I've made it through the storm. And my trials are finally over. Race is finally won. Don't weep for me. Cause if I never see another sunrise, I know I'm gonna see the risen sun. When my trials are finally over, and my race is finally won. Don't if I never see another sunrise, I know I'm gonna see the risen sun. 
Amen. Amen. Change it up. Let's do something off another project. Uh, my wife's going to change this, this here soundtrack out and get my other band off the top. Yeah, for real. It's, fu it's fun to have a band you can stick in a box when you get ready to go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I miss I, I do miss the guys that used to play play for us. We you know there's nothing like having Christian companionship going up and down the road with you, but but when that but when <laughs> leave it up to my wife, come up with something. But when that when 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 those guys uh, start getting back home and they start getting mad at you because you hadn't got a paycheck for them, and well, you know, it's time to do something. And I told y'all the last time we were here, we bought us a band from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but you know what? They go on strike sometime. That happens. I'll guarantee you. We was up one night singing, and they got mad at me. They went to skipping. Y'all ever y'all ever had them do that? I told the folks, I said, what happened was, I said, uh, they got tired of that Indian pushing their buttons. <laughs> so she said, I ain't going to push the buttons no more. And JoJo said, I will. <laughs> then they got mad at the midget. <laughs> but it is it has been good to be with you folks. I'm not going to sing but two or three more songs and let it rip. Oh, you know you don't want me to sing them on that. You know, you know you got some fried chicken uh, stuck off somewhere, huh? He's got the fried chicken. I'm going home with you, buddy. <laughs> I knew there was some chicken somewhere. Couchy. <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what to do after that, man. I tell you what I did have one time. We went to homecoming, and, and you know, used to, they would have morning service, and then everybody would have dinner on the ground, and then they'd have evening service. Well, we, they had morning service, and I couldn't get there till lunch. So I got there just in time to eat the chicken and the dressing and, you know, all the good stuff. And then they wanted me to get up and sing <laughs> after that. Y'all know what it's like to sing with a belly full of chicken and dressing. I'd sing three lines and belch, and it was something like, buk, 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 buk. you know. So I learned, to, you know, here last week, one of the guys at one of the churches, he said, hey, he said, uh, we're going to have dinner, and you sing. He said, I assume that you're not going to eat before you sing, right? I said, there's food, ain't he? He said, yeah. I said, uh, don't leave me out. Why Why was you hiding your face? That's all right. That's all right. We're we having fun. Hey, Christians are supposed to have fun. Right? Christians are supposed to have fun. All right. What are you grinning about? I want, I want to do a... I want to do y'all a song that God gave me several years ago. This song simply, you know, I got to thinking about it. Jesus has been gone a long time. But when we leave this world, we're going to be a long time gone. I think y'all enjoy it. I hope so. My friends don't understand me why I live this way But I know I'm getting closer and closer every day Oh, but someday when I get there over on the other shore I know I will be leaving there forevermore So if someday you miss me as you look around I'll be gone, gone on home He's been a long time coming But when I leave here I'll be a long time gone Yeah, he's been a long time coming But when I leave here I'll be a long time gone Long time gone I've been traveling down the same old road But when I leave, I know I'll be gone Gone, gone, home Hey, man TV is 
saw the evening news I saw about the killing and all the child abuse Oh, but someday when I get there over on the other shore All trials will be ended, they'll be gone forevermore There'll be my grandma waiting, there's my papa too I'll be gone, gone on home He's been a long time coming But when I leave here, I'll be a long time gone yeah, he's been a long time coming But when I leave here, I'll be a long time gone Long time gone I've been traveling down this same old road But when I leave, I know I'll be gone Gone, long home He's been a long time coming But when I leave here, I'll be a long time gone Yeah, he's been a long time coming But when I leave here, I'll be a long time gone Long time gone I've been traveling down the same old road But when I leave, I know I'll be gone Gone, gone, gone I've been traveling down the same old road But when I leave, I know I'll be gone Gone, gone, gone Gone, gone, gone All right Uh, my wife's wanting me to do a song that, uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I hadn't done it so long, I can't hardly remember the words to it. But then uh, when you've got to ride 365 days a year, well, Mama, you better do what Mama says because it gets kind of rough. <laughs> if you can tell me the first line of that song, I might, I might can get it. All right, turn it on. We'll see. How do you know what she's going to play? were thrown in jail, they were in an awful fix For all the preaching and teaching they did that day With the king it did mix There they were in shackles and chains No one to go their bail For they knew the God they had served Surely would not fail Along about midnight Paul Dover said Silas let sing They laid down praise and worship And made the rafters ring When all of a sudden the wind blew in Well they gave that place a shake the doors flew up and the chains fell down the chair he got saved now i know the story i'm telling you sounds like a crazy thing but the man out in foreign you heard Paul and silas sing yes it's in my feet and i can't get it out i get a funny feeling i start to shout well it's in my hands and i can't shake it off i open my start to move and the room spins around I feel like I am walking on clouds There ain't nothing that no one can do when the Holy Ghost starts to move Amen I got it yeah. Left, he told them I'll send a comforter to report They prayed and prayed for days and days Some thought it was in vain All the folks around that town Just thought they were insane Well, when they least expected it There came a mighty rushing wind It blew in, just took over Well, it fell all over them They danced, they shouted, they sung out loud They nearly climbed the walls Everybody in that town Heard the twelve disciples call yes, it's in my and I can't get it out I get up on me and I start to shout Well, it's in my hands And I can't shake it off I open my mouth But I can't talk I start to move And the room spins around I feel like I am walking on clouds There ain't nothing that no one can do When the Holy Ghost starts to move Yes, it's in my feet and I can get it out I get a funny feeling I start 
Kirsty Show. Well, it's in my hands and I can't shake it off. I open my mouth, but oh, I start to move and the room spins around. I feel like I am walking on clouds. There ain't nothing that no one can do when the Holy Ghost starts to move. There ain't nothing that no one can do when the Holy Ghost starts to move. All right. Yeah, my wife's trying to kill me. That's what she's trying to do. I got a question, brother. I, I wonder if you look like my dad. When my dad was a Baptist preacher, and he loved chicken so much that it got to the point, it got, it, you're not going to throw nothing at me, are you? He got to the point to where, where on Sundays, all the chickens are running hide. I told my daddy one time, I said, you keep on eating chickens, I said, you're going to grow feathers, I guarantee you. Oh, man. How many... Who all was here last year when we came came through? Oh, there's a bunch of folks that wasn't here last year. I'll leave you alone, buddy. <laughs> what? I don't remember that one. Well, did you just go and eat chicken last year by yourself since I didn't shut up? All right, of you that was here last year, do y'all remember me telling y'all that we was going to do a gospel music cruise and invite y'all to go with us? Y'all remember that? And they didn't, they didn't how, how do you say it? I'm going to say this uh, back home style. They ain't a nary one of y'all go. <laughs> huh? It ain't happened yet. No, my, last year. Leave it up to my wife. <laughs> For real. For real, buddy. You know what I got and where I do? Uh, she'll say, hey, y'all, you going to invite the folks to, to go with us, you know, when we go on the cruise or whatever. And one night I was up, I was up singing, and, and I was, I was going to tell the folks about the Christmas and the Smokies that we're involved in and the cruises that we do. And every time I would tell a date or a time, my wife would jump up and say, that ain't right. That ain't right. I just handed her the microphone. I said, here. Yeah, but the problem was she, she didn't stop at telling them about what we were going to do. Then she got to talking about me. Come here. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here. Don't act innocent. <laughs> Boy, I make you look pretty. Well, yeah, but here. You do your job. You, you're better at it than I am. I uh, make you uh, look so pretty. I'm, fr I'm afraid to stand up here with you with that microphone in your hand. <laughs> look, look back at her and smile. Oh, my goodness. You're going to tear that camera all to pieces. <laughs> all right, tell me. <laughs> I thought I made him look pretty myself. <laughs> You know what? You look like a a rag dog doing that. What you tell about the <laughs> I've got to tell that on him. We were over in Port Charlotte last Sunday night, and the pastor he he told me to get up there and uh, tell about the cruise. And he had said something about how he sounded like a cow being a, a car being hit by a cow, a or a cow being hit by a car, or something. I don't know. And I got on to him for it. And when the pastor got up there behind me, he said, uh, he said, I recommend they get counseling, marriage counseling. <laughs> so after church, I walked up to him and I said, do you give it? <laughs> but when you're caged up in that van with him like we are, I think we do need it. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, I love my husband very much, and I thank God for a wonderful man. But sometimes I do want to <coughs> put a rope around his neck. No, I don't have some reason. Uh, he's, 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 he's a great guy, and he's a great man, and I do love him very much. Thank God for him. I'm, I'm serious now. I'm being very serious. Did y'all hear what he just walked right through here and said? I picked that up very well. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to be here this morning, and uh, we have grown to love you guys just like our own family. And uh, Chuck was talking about the uh, the couple that had come through and went on to Kentucky, and they call this their home. We call it home. We call it home. You know, as a, a coming from a, a pastor's home myself. I can remember when people would come into my dad's church and he'd say, you're a visitor the first time, but the second time, you belong to us. And that's how I, I kind of feel like Ron and I do about coming back, coming here the first time, we were the visitor, but this time we're family. And I, I'll have to say this, you know, being on the road full time, uh, I'll have to go back to something Ron's mom said, then I'll say this. When Ron got called into the full-time ministry, I'll never forget standing out under her carport. She carried a little angel in her pocket. And for the longest, Ron just would not accept that he was supposed to be a soloist. He, w he fought against what God's calling was. He thought that he belonged as in a trio because that's where he came out of. And she, she'd say, I'm carrying my angel, son. And she said, I know that God will show you the direction you're supposed to go, and I'm praying for you. And she said, I know you've got a, I know you've got a godly wife. And she said, I know that God's called you all to be missionaries. And you know, the road we travel every day is a mission, is a mission field. And when we took this road, when, we, when Ron accepted the calling God placed upon his life, and we hit the road, so to speak, it became not only a mission field, but it became a battleground. But when we walk into a church that's on fire for God, like you guys are, and I feel like we can call it home, I know we've got many, many people that's praying for us. Ron's mom has already gone home to be with the Lord. She went home to be with the Lord October, was a year ago. Both of my parents are in, in the presence of the Lord. But, you know, that's the angels that are, are, are gathered around us that rides with us as we go. I, I believe that. So I'm going to share something with you instead of sharing this. I'm going to share a little bit of something that happened to us a couple of days ago over Norman Beach. I believe in sharing what God sends because I believe he sends it to you because he wants you to share it. So when it happens to you, it'll be a blessing. Anytime we get near water and Ron's got a couple of minutes, he's going to throw his rod in that water and he's going to fish. <laughs> you know, he, God said he'd make us fishers of men. But if Ron gets a chance, he's going to be a fisher of a fish. <laughs> and we were there and we had just a few minutes before we had to leave and he was out there and he had finished up and he's putting his fishing pole up and this lady come pulling up i was sitting in the van and i didn't i didn't hear the conversation and uh he come walking back and got in the van and he says you know he said god doesn't ever cease to amaze me and i and i said what you talking about and he said well did you see that lady and i said yeah but i didn't know what it was all about and he said well she just come pulling up and said, God laid it upon her heart to give me some money. And she had handed him a $10 bill. 
And um, she got to talking to him about the singing ministry. And she attended a church there in Norman Beach. And she said, I sure do wish that you would contact our church and see about coming in and ministering there. And I pulled it up on the Internet. And unfortunately, and, and I'm not saying this in a, in, in a condemnation way, they were a total contemporary church. And I know we're snared by the words of our mouth. I preach at it him all the time. But uh, I know what it's like to try to break into a total contemporary church. But I did know, notice that they had what they call a senior adult program. And the senior adults love Christian country music. So I called and spoke with a secretary, and I told her just what had happened. And I said, you know, if your senior adults might like to have Rhonda come in, I said, we would love to come and be there. So she told me who to contact, and I, de I did. And, of course, it went from there to a waiting game. So we went on up the road maybe 10 miles, and we stopped to fuel up. And I was sitting there while Ron was fueling up, and this young lady walked up to the side of my window, and she said, do you sing gospel music? And I said, I don't. My husband does. She said, that's just so awesome. And she said, uh, do y'all do it all the time? Do y'all travel everywhere? And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I love gospel music. She said, me and my husband just moved here several months ago from South Carolina. She said, do y'all have a CD? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, yes, we do. And she wanted to know the price. And I told her, and she said, I don't have any money right now. She said, my husband is in pretty bad health. And she said, we just do odd and end jobs. And she said, that's what we're doing now, out trying to find some work. And I said, uh, where do you attend church? It was the same church that the lady that gave Ron the $10 attended. Boy, the Lord just slapped me like this right here. I reached up on the dash where there was a CD happened to be laying, and I said, here you go. I said, there's your CD. She said, do you mean you're going to give me that CD? I said, yes, ma'am. She had a smile just go from ear to ear. And she looked at her husband. She said, honey, can you believe she's giving me this CD? Ron finished pumping the gas, and he walked over there where I was, and her husband said, uh, can I have prayer with you guys? Ron says, you can pray with us all day, any day, any time you want to. And we get, joined hands, and I'm going to tell you what, Brother Chuck, you're talking about a man that touched heaven. He touched heaven. And when we left, we was going down the road, and I looked over at Ron. I said, I'm going to tell you something. I said, if all of God's children would learn the meaning of obedience, I said, how much better off would be? I said, that lady obeyed God by giving. And I said, it might have been the last 10 bucks that she had in her pocket. But I said, she obeyed God. And I said, by her obeying God, she blessed somebody else. And I said, and let me tell you, this is a huge church in Ormond Beach. It was Calvary Christian Center. And I said, they probably have never met one another inside that church. But I said, she obeyed God, and she gave you that money. And I said, by doing so, she touched another one's life inside her own church. That may, I am still feasting off of that one blessing right there. All because someone touched another person's life. And then I walk in here this morning. And I don't even remember the song th that it was. I can just hear those words where it's talking about drawing us closer to him. And I 
was standing in the hotel room this morning getting dressed, and I was thinking, Lord, just strip me of the things that's going on in our lives because Ron and I have been under so much stress over the last few weeks and just draw me closer. And how God ordained this whole service this morning and he will do those things. And then Brother Chuck gets up and he speaks upon the things that I have preached at this one. <laughs> But you know, God will set in path everything that He wants ordained if we'll just leave it to Him. And I'm just so thankful that He does that. And yes, we are cut ups. But we're cut ups for Christ. Because the Bible teaches us that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. And then Brother, Ch Brother Chuck comes right behind that and talks about how that we are not supposed to be sick because we are healed. That's right. And that's, you know, if we learn that a joyful heart is what we're supposed to have, then we can have all the blessings that God wants us. I mean, everything all coincides together. But anyway, I'll tell you these things, and I'm going to sit down because Ron's sitting over there like, oh, yeah, this, 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 this. and they said, you get up there and you tell them about everything else. <laughs> he was sitting behind me last Sunday, and he was my ventriloquist. <laughs> Come on, honey, get up here and pull my strings. No. I love him. I do, I do, I love him. He has to love me because God told him to. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, y'all know all about the trips. We told y'all about them, but the only thing that's been added on since we were here with you guys before, I, no, I don't think that was either. I think the Alaskan cruise was here. We was talking about it before. Um, the only one thing about the Alaskan cruise, the July Alaskan cruise sold completely out, and because it sold completely out, they had to. They came back and they added on another one, and it, they're doing another one in in, uh, in August. So um, it, it's just great that we've got things that we can do that's Christian oriented. And uh, I will say this: the the February cruise and then the Christmas in the Smokies, we have got those discounted down because they're coming up so close at hand. So if you're interested in it, just stop by and talk to us about it. Uh, and other than that, I'm shutting up. Come on, honey, you can sing now. <laughs> I know you like to look good up here. Mm. Y'all know what? She said she'd hush and let me sing. Miracles never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Hey. You don't get no chicken today. <laughs> uh-huh, I'm going home with my buddy. <laughs> y'all, it's been so much fun to be here with y'all guys today. Uh, you know, we got up in the church here a while back, or, or I take that back as we was leaving. This guy got up, and he said, my goodness. He said, they remind me of Sonny and Sherry. I said, now, wait a minute. I said, I love snow skiing. I said, but I have not got drunk skied into no pine tree lately, you know. <laughs> but, uh, listen. When? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I really do need help <laughs> with that. Uh, I want to do you a song to finish up that I, that I love doing. It, it simply says, I'll make it someday. And uh, we found out just the other day that uh, for the third third time this song's on the charts. That tells me that somebody's getting a blessing. And that, that makes us feel good. You know, I've got a lot of friends over on the other side. We all do. 
And the Bible teaches me that I will get to see them again one day. I can't wait to see them. But then I want to see the one that died for me. Amen. I want to finish finish up with this song and, and, and appreciate y'all having us and putting up with us. And maybe we can do it again sometime. God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much and God bless you all. Come on, brother.